So I spotted in the window these feeler, these sort of like feeler disruptors, and then I saw the price. Yep, yeah, 30 whole flipping smackaroonies. Welcome back boys and girls, it's your boy Kieran from Rummage Around, and in today's video, we're gonna go on lunch. We're gonna go have a lunch break and see how much money we can source, see how much money we can make on lunch. It was currently 10 to 11, so we're gonna have an early lunch. You get my gist. We're just gonna go and source for one whole hour and see how much things we can pick up from the local charity shop. See how much money we can make in today's video. So I'm gonna put myself into part-time shoes and treat this as a part-time reseller video. So, one hour, let's get cracker lacking, smash the hell out of that like button and I will guarantee you a sealed Nintendo 64 in your next charity shop run. Anyway guys, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, there's about 46% of you that aren't subscribed. So just subscribe, ding dong that bell as well so you do get notified when I upload next. And without further ado, we've got one whole hour to see how much we can source and how much money we can make today. So let's get going. Shop number one, let's see what's so, inside. So, the first item that we are looking at here is a Jack Wheels 100% Marine Wall Jumper. I thought this would probably be worth picking up, however, looking at recent comps and looking at sold and sort of decided against it really because obviously we're coming spring, so I just left it there. However, I did spot these Nike SBs for five whole smackaroonies, UK size six. We are definitely 110% going to be picking these up. It should be an easy 20 to 22 pounds. Shop number two, account to research. Let's see what's inside. So I spotted in the window these feeler, these sort of like feeler disruptors, and then I saw the price. Yep. Yeah. 30 whole flipping smackaroonies. Not a single chance. So I scoured all the trainers and shoes within the cancer research and we did actually find a pair of Skechers. Nothing to really, really rave about here, but Skechers sell all day long and only three whole pound will be definitely 150% picking these bad boys up. Again, 22 pound. Searching the uh, coats and jumpers and all that good stuff, we spotted the Nike Vintage Raincoat, 100% nylon. This is it was in one of my videos ages and ages ago, and you guys pointed out that I should pick it up. And guess what? Only in Spalding would this still be here three weeks later. People said that I should get around about the 25 to 60 pound mark, but we'll stick a month for about 30 and take offers. Then we sort of scour in the kids section and look what we found. A pair of Nike Air 95s, UK size six. These probably weren't supposed to be here. So I'm glad I did check the kids section. So the moral of the story, basically check everywhere for trainers. These are in really decent condition and should be looking at around the 30 pound mark. And now guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, this guys is the original Banksy. Neil Buchanan, what a guy, my guy, my guy. I'm just, oh my days, my guy. Anyway, enough of that. Same shop, different outcome. Look at this beauty. Find another Peter Gribby. This is two Peter Gribbies in two or three videos. Again, easy 30 to 40 pound. Beauty. So about half an hour through the little challenge and we've picked up some absolute bangers. We've just been into St. Barnabas where we've got three items. So we've got about 40 minutes left. Let's see what we can get in the next 40 minutes. Let's go. And here we are at British Scam Fan, I mean British Heart Foundation. But hey guys, what a banger this is. A Donne International Fleece Jacket. I did leave it because I think it was up for like 9.99 or 10.99. Just a little bit too steep for a, a reseller. However, this item here, the Nash, is a fishing brand, really good fishing brand, expensive RRP, size small, £5.50. If it was any bigger than a size small, I would have 110%. You're looking at around about the £30 mark. I wonder what Sue Ryder has to offer today. More shoes by the looks of it. Sue Ryder is normally an absolute beast. And look at these, a pair of Chatham deck shoes. I sell these all day long for 30 pound in the winter. You could probably be pushing 35 now, it's spring. Chatham is a really expensive, high-end deck shoe company. So I definitely took that home with me. 
We then looked at these. These are the Clark's Wave Birds, I do believe. Size 10 and leather. So all them boxes being ticked. Definitely had to pick them up for £5.75p. Sue Rider, this Sue Rider is flipping fantastic. So I'm so glad. So we've got about 20 minutes left. Two charity shops. We are absolutely smashing it. Hopefully you guys have sort of learned some new brands. Flip it now. Look at all them pigeons fly. We've got literally 20 minutes, two charity shops. Let's go. We've done 50 minutes of charity shopping. Mum, 40 minutes of charity shopping. So uh, yeah, let's go. We are down to the final few charity shops left and I see this Frank Thomas motorcycle jacket, leather, £15. I was going to pick this up and you're probably going to tell me why didn't I, but I, I'm going to give you a hint. I didn't pick this up. It was £15. It was absolutely rough. However, if you guys tell me different, I will go and pick this up. Looking at comps of this exact model, I was looking at around the 45 to 50. So I thought I'd just leave it, to be honest with you. The last charity shop within the hour. We've got 12 minutes exactly left. So let's see what Sense has to offer. We've saved the best till last. Now this is my favourite ever shop. Sense in Spalding is a beast. Here we have it. Samuel Windsor, size 11, full leather black. £5 should be looking anywhere between the £30 and £50 for these beasts. They're absolutely stunning. £5, yes please. We then spotted some jeans and we actually spotted a pair of brand new and tagged Nike Golf Chino trousers. But it was very steep. It was 12 holes smackaroonies. That's too much for me. I am not paying £12 on a single pair of trousers. Nike, if these were cheaper, you could be looking around a 30 to £40 mark. But I decided to... So look. we have made it back with approximately one minute remaining of the one hour lunchtime challenge what i'm going to do now is lay it all out on the floor for your beautiful faces and we're going to go through exactly what we picked up how much we spent all in all and how much return we should make back from today's little little challenge so without further ado i'm going to eat mcgregs i've got bacon chicken salad baguette thing and a bottle of full fat coca-cola and then we're going to go home and see what we picked up so Hopefully you guys are living the dream and uh, sales are booming. Uh, enough waffling on, let's get home. So we are back home and this is the haul. Nice little haul to be fair. We've got a bunch of games, one pound each. Bratz, diamonds, got to be worth a fiver. Sims 2, probably four. Smurfs, absolutely no idea. Ben 10 triple pack. It's got to be at least five, six, seven quid for that, surely. We then got the Samuel Windsor Chelsea boots, which are comfortable 30 to 40 pound. Really nice condition, nice big size, size 11, I do believe. Really nice condition. We then got some Clarks, these are the Wave Birds. Leather, brown, should be a comfortable 25 to 30 pound. We then got the Chatham Deck Shoes, which I sell all day long for 30. Definitely a brand that you should all be on the lookout for, especially now spring is here. Chatham's Boat Shoes. Nice, easy £30 back from them. We then got the Nike Air 97s, I believe. Might even be wrong, my brain really isn't working today. But these should be a comfortable 35 to 40 They are Women's UK 6. We then have the Skechers, just sports. Nothing really to worry about here. But nice size 6 for women's. Only paying £3. Had to pick them up all day long. Should be a comfortable £25. We then have, again... A size, oh, must be the pair of size sixes. These three here, all size sixes. Must be the uh, day of size sixes donating. These are the SB Dunks, SB Nikes. Really nice condition, nice grey suede. Should be a comfortable 22 to 25 pound. We then have the Aston Martin Hackett Polo. Really nice condition, size XL. Endurance Racing Team. Should be a comfortable 25 pound. We then have a bit of a bolo here, Peter Gribby. I said it in my recent video and I found another one. Size medium, nice grey, white and dark grey, charcoal grey condition, beautiful colourway, absolutely stunning. Should be a comfortable 30 to 40. And then we picked up the Nike raincoat that you guys absolutely hated me for because I didn't pick it up in my recent video, but it was still there two and a half weeks later. So picked it up, paid eight. People saying anywhere between 25 and 60. Absolute rummage around estimation there. But 
just based on what you guys have told me. It's got a beautiful Nike bottom hit here. Really nice condition for its age. That will just add to, to the value anyway. And yeah, that is about all we picked up today. Jeez, got a bit of a head rush there because I was actually kneeling on the floor, bending over and having a look at exactly what we picked up. But that is the end of today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy sort of like the commentary over the top in the charity shops, then please let me know in the comment section below. Nice little haul at the end as well. Didn't do it individually, just had it all laid out for you. And hopefully you enjoyed that as well. And we just went through valuations. I didn't waffle on too much like I normally do. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy that video, please do smash that like button. It does mean the world to me. Helps the channel get out there. Tell all your friends, all your family and all that good stuff. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. If we can hit that this year, it will be a dream come true. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.